Hello, my name is Paul Sonnison and I'm the new director of Cred Foundation. I'm here right now in Mei Camp in Thailand and today we've been working with 200 of the 70,000 people that live in this camp designed for 40,000. One of the many projects around the world that Cred has partners, have friends, have associates that we work with, that we build up a relationship with and we trust. And in December of 2009 we hope to bring a team of young people out to come and serve this community, understand what's going on across the border in Burma and go back to the UK and spread the news and tell what's happening into the schools, into the colleges and into the workplace. Cred is about taking people on a journey. We want to see people participate in change. Participation in transformation is the kind of new message that we're putting out. We have seen over 70 people, half of them under 18s, participate in the Zone Play Scheme in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, alongside our partners IHA, UDP. Next month we're off to India to our partners FIAM at their request to see whether a Zone Play Scheme would work with their children and young people. And then, as you've seen, we'll be back in Thailand working with the Burmese refugees in December with a team of 22 serving that community, understanding what it's like to live there and going back and doing something about that new knowledge and new experience. Cred is working with four new streams. We're looking at fundraising, what we've been doing over the years, fundraising on behalf of our partners, but of course for ourselves and our core costs. We're looking also at campaigning. We're looking at campaigning about fair trade gold. We're also looking at the environment, all this flying around the world. Not only are we looking to offset, but also looking to educate those who are part of our team. And finally, a fair trade. We have in Addis a jewellery cooperative that we're helping local people who live in the slums who have a skill to build a career and to make a living out of their skills. But it also comes back to funding. You, like me, have been receiving many messages uh, from various charities that we support who are desperate for money. And Cred is, is the same, I guess. We're, we're keen to carry on supporting our core costs, but also to carry on funding our partners. So through this newsletter, we're asking and first of all saying thank you to those at Direct Debit regularly. We so appreciate your money and your funds. And we hope by what you've seen today and what you've read, you're encouraged by where your money's going. But also, we would ask you to consider forwarding this to people who you know who may want to give to our partners or give to our core cost. Simon and I, Simon Paler, charge of communications. He does two days a week. I do one day a week. And we're both keen and committed to take Cred Foundation forward. But we believe it would take more of our time uh, to put this, the dreams we have into practice. So thanks for making time. Thank you for your ongoing support. And watch out for upcoming news of India and of Addis in October. And of course, the trip back to Thailand in December, as we see more and more young people and children, because of your funding, go experience something for themselves, change other people's lives and come back passionate about change, passionate about seeing change happen in their own community and in their own world.